keto followers so this morning it's a just an update for week seven um, not a very good start to my week I mentioned at the start of my keto journey that um, I was hoping that keto was going to help with my joint pain my hip pain um, you know my stiffness in my back and things like that um, so I finally got around to seeing a doctor and getting my back and joints investigated and found out now that I've got a disease called endylosing spondylitis ankylosing spondylitis it's, it's gonna take a while for me to get that right properly but yeah so it's ankylosing spondylitis so pretty much it's arthritis in the spine and it's what young people get from the age of 18, 20. Um, so from, from your 20s to 30s, um, young, young adults can get it. About 2% of Australians get it. It's most common in young males than females. Um, but yeah, a lot of people who are you know, rather tall or, or um, have a um, history of it through the family, family history, um, seem to get it and as I say I am a pretty tall person I'm six foot tall my brother is over six foot tall and my father is over six foot tall and I do remember growing up as a child my father always having um, back problems and you know sore back and always doing exercise and they just put that down to sciatica um, through my pregnancy I had bad sciatica with my children and so now I've you know actually looked into why my back is still sore um, in the mornings it's gotten worse at night time well, when I try to sleep I can't roll over at night because there's so much pain I have to get up at 6 o'clock every morning and do these annoying yoga posing back stretches to make sure my back's okay throughout the day and now to find out that there's actually an autoimmune disease causing this pain it's a bit of an eye-opener so it's something new that I've got to learn about so I just wanted to touch base that I've done a bit of research last night and found out that keto is actually a good way to help the pain with this actually autoimmune disease. So which was very interesting because I thought well you know I've just started this keto way of life um, and this is you know a lot of people are saying ditch the medicines that the doctors prescribed you and straight away the doctors did tell me to start these pain relief medications which is a non-steroid non -steroid medications to stop the pain in the spine um, but you know these medicines are really strong and powerful and you don't want to be taking these drugs for the rest of your life if there's another way you know to be pain free so ankylosing spondylitis is arthritis that starts in the base of your spine and works its way up through the spine to cause joint pain, um, bone fractures in the spine, um, where your bones and and your spine starts fusing together over time to create a, a spine that's stiff and unable to move. So it's not too bad of a of a disease. Like you wouldn't want anyone to get a disease, but you know if you've got it, it's something you've got to live with and deal with. And now I've just got to work out how to make it pain free for myself. So um, it's been pretty interesting having a read last night over um, a lot of you know pages online on Facebook. There's a lot of groups about people who have AS, and there are a few people who have written blogs about um, stopping the pain of AS through the ketogenic diet. So it's something I'm now going to be interested in and in looking in, and it's going to motivate me to stay on the ketogenic way of living. Um, and yeah, so that's where I'm at this week. Week seven of my ketogenic way of life and I find out I've got an autoimmune disease, short named as AS, um, arthritis in the spine. So yeah, that's, that's not good to know, but you know, at least I found out now why I'm getting pain, why I'm getting pain in my joints. Uh, apparently it's common to get hip pain, knee pain, um, ankle pain and you know, lower back pain. Um, I, before starting keto, I did have pain in my right hip, which did subside after eating healthier, and I've only, you know, continued having the pain in the base of my spine. Um, but yeah, it makes a bit of sense now after doing a bit of research on AS. So I'd really like some 
input from anyone who does have AS in what autoimmune disease for the you know arthritis in the spine if anyone has been on keto and it has been helping them immensely with the pain um, from this disease I'd really like some tips and help about you know do you take medication would you rather just like I guess anyone would would you rather just be eating healthy and, and, and get off the pain meds um, has keto worked for you and and you know can you tell me a bit more about this autoimmune disease and what I'm what I'm in for in the long haul um, yeah so as I said I'm only 29 so it's it's pretty scary to be told you have spinal arthritis at you know 29 years of age but I guess you know anything's possible these days um, now for the bad news of my weekly update I'm feeling down and out um, I had a stomach bug on Monday actually I had to leave work early um, my kids had given me something they've picked up from school so I couldn't stop throwing up I was oh it was a mess um, you know cold shivers you could non-stop vomiting um, and the only thing I could stomach was cold toast for dinner I know my weakness I went into a mega car binge I just I don't know I understand now when people go don't have carbs they're addictive they'll make you want more and they did I um, what was it Monday night I had two pieces of cold toast for dinner I finally stomached something without chucking up and it was amazing I have missed out on bread so much you know bread is my weakness I was so good for the last seven weeks I did not touch a piece of bread and then just feeling sick just laying there in bed and just eating this cold Vegemite toast I thought this is heaven so I got up at 6 a.m. yesterday morning and I thought instantly oh I need some toast it made me feel better so I had three more pieces of toast um, lunchtime came around I still felt a bit sick so I had I just had a can of corn I know more carbs what was I thinking and then for dinner last night I had three more pieces of peanut butter toast let me tell you as much as I loved those carbs this morning I am paying for it big time my stomach is so bloated I'm out of ketosis I did a um, ketosis urine stick test this morning I'm zero now there's no ketones whatsoever happening in my body um, I feel so bloated I feel so sluggish I feel sick um, my body just feels so full of bluggy carbs and I hate it so I fell off the bandwagon I had a massive carb binge yesterday um, I also had a um, small packet of Maltese as, as well I did the whole you know ah, oh, wasted my day eating carbs what's sugar gonna do so yeah I'm hating myself right now um, but you know after sitting up all night doing research on this AS disease I thought snap out of it put the carbs down healthy eating is what I need to help my body now um, I've got to have no excuses get back onto the keto way of life and stop being so baby it's baby like so okay so we're gonna start again it's still week seven I've picked myself back up off the car binge um, I've got a new you know thing to keep in mind now that is ketogenic helping my way of life and now I also autoimmune disease so that's my update for this week I'm in the naughty corner uh, car binge sugar crave went crazy yesterday stomach bugs gone and now I feel horrible from the carb overload so let's see how long it's gonna take for me to get back into ketosis I only got myself to blame but here we go hope everyone else is going well hope no one else fell off the bandwagon like me um, but yeah so thanks for listening guys don't criticize me too much I've done that enough myself and um, I'll update you later on through the week who knows what weigh-in's gonna be like at the end of this week ah! thanks for watching